ChatGPT articles do not rank. In fact, most generic tools struggle when it comes to writing people-first articles that actually rank on search engines. Why? Because search engines are already flooded by low-quality AI-spun content. Let me show you how Reword becomes your competitive advantage with an AI co-writer that's trained by you for you. I'm going to go through five of my favorite co-writer prompts to help my articles rank well. Number one is internal linking. If you don't know, internal linking is a powerful way to connect articles together through links. There's a lot of ways to do this. Now your Reword co-writer is trained on your other articles, so it will naturally link to relevant articles when it sees an opportunity. If we want to create a specific internal link, say to get an article indexed faster, we can do that too. Let me show you an example. So I'm going to select the opening section of this article and I'm going to hit tab to open the co-writer. I'm going to say place an internal link and I'm going to provide the article link. Now what it's going to do is it's going to rewrite this section for us and it's going to place the internal link for us too. Just like that, you can see it's created an anchor of electrical vehicles and it has this link as the citation. It's a great way to easily add any link to your articles without having to scramble about and worry about how to include them. Number two is finding keyword placements. Reword is much more focused on wider search intents. We believe that by casting a wider net, you're more likely to satisfy different search terms that you maybe didn't think about at first. That's what we do with our search score through the sidebar. You can see here as it loads, it gives us a score and the search ring tells us how we are satisfying our different intents. In this case, we have three intents for this article. All of them are not really being satisfied very well. There's an opportunity there, but that makes sense. We haven't really finished this article and we're going to be building it out more. Anyway, if you have a keyword focused strategy, you can still accomplish this with reword. For example, let's uh, this section here. And let's say we want to include the search term electric vehicle demand. All we do is say to our co-writer, include the keyword electric vehicle demand. And you can see here, electric vehicle demand has been included and the co-writer has bolded it for us. Another example is getting your co-writer to write sections that you know are going to help search engines figure out which intents you're trying to satisfy. For example, question answer. Now, this is a concept that's often found with search engines. For example, using people also ask. And the goal is to understand what questions your readers have so that you can answer them. I'm going to say, write a section based on a column question that our readers will have. As you can see, it's writing this question based on what are the most probable future advancements in the efficiency of electric vehicles based on the current trends. Then it's going to dive into that and actually write the section for us. Now, if we're using Reword Search Score, we could write that based on an individual intent. For example, if we have the intent of electric vehicle trends, then we could ask it to write a section on electric vehicle trends so that we can then satisfy that intent and grow our search traffic. Going on to four, this is one that I love to use, and it's actually reformatting our content into something more readable. For example, take this rule of text. These days, people don't have an awfully long attention span. And depending on the type of content you are writing and the audience you're writing for, you may need to focus on more readable formats. For example, this wall of text we've just created, let's say rewrite this section in a list format. Now a list format is much easier to consume. Just like that, it's put together a really compelling list for us and it's much more consumable for our audience. It's great to include these kind of summary lists because it helps people find the content that they are more likely to engage with. This is very dependent on the type of content you write. But for other ideas, you may want to include more quotes. You may want to include tables. And these are all different formats that your co-writer can help you put together. Now going on to the final number five, it's all about the headings. Using your research assistance, you can find different heading ideas over here in the sidebar. But if you have a section in mind with a specific keyword you're targeting, you're going to need a little bit more control. Let this section as an example. It's called market competition. Let's say we want to write an engaging title that includes exact keywords 
EV competition. Just like that, it's wrote a new title for us, including that keyword and helping the article flow into the next section of content. Out of interest, let's see how this has impacted our search score. Much better. We're at a 55 now and we have some green areas on the search room. We still have a search intent to satisfy more, but it's on the up. This is a great example of how you can collaborate with your co-writer to write not only better articles for your readers, but articles that the algorithm like too.